let's get physical. It's Jordan here back in with this week's update and all the physical releases coming to the Switch. We are in the first week, well, the first full week of July. Now, as you can see, I am not in my office. I am on holiday. I'm halfway up a mountain in the middle of China. So uh, this week is going to be a little bit rough, shall we say. I bought a microphone way overpriced way overly crap so sorry about the audio here this episode is sponsored by the epos h3 closed acoustic gaming headset it has everything the modern gamer needs great powerful audio especially in that sweet bass adaptability sleek comfortable design easily adjustable volume and the fact that you can instantly mute a microphone by clicking it vertically when you need to you know pretend you're interested in whatever your loved one is trying to talk with you about you know we all have to do that sometimes. This works with all modern consoles and PC, but as a Switch gamer who likes to sit on the sofa with the console in my hands, it's brilliant. And as long as I sit in the corner, no one is any of the wiser of what weird Japanese game I may be playing at that particular time with their very, shall we say, uh, distinct audio design. If you're looking for a high quality headset, head over to epostaudio.com or click the links in the description to pick up your H3 headset today. But without further ado, let's just get into it. The Silver Case 2425 is releasing this week from NIS America. This is a double pack of visual novels, crime mysteries from the man Suda51. The original was a PS1 game, so uh, it's one of those games with delicious retro visuals to go along with it. Kind of reminds me of like the Shin Megami Tensei or Persona, the old school kind of art style. I really like it a lot, so I definitely dig it. I could get down with this one if I managed to find it for a reasonable price. And this is Alexander Cato, Michael Del Polito, and Brent McLean's pick of the week. Ease 9 is another release from NIS America this week. They are killing it. And now for something completely different because here we have an action RPG in the well-loved series. I really, really enjoyed Ease 8, so I'm not sure how they can go wrong with this one. I'm expecting awesome music, satisfying combat, and an all-round top adventure. Sadly, no review from me because, you know, uh, I can't really review a game on the side of a mountain. And to be honest, I also need a break from reviewing massive RPGs just for a little while. I've done Legend of Mana, Empire of Angels, and so, you know, just need a little bit of break. I know this has released on other consoles before, so I'm not sure what the reception was to that. I just hope it runs better on the Switch than its predecessor did. That was a little rough. And this is Alyssa's God of Resin, Cigar Truck of Vilos, and Punky Doosters Pick of the Week. Farmers vs Zombies. This could either be amazing or absolutely shite. Also known by the name Farm For Your Life, a name change doesn't bode well. Sounds like they're trying to get away from something. Actually, I have no idea. I checked the Steam reviews and they seem rather positive. If you want a mix of Stardew with Zombie Invasion, then it might be a fun one to take a look at. Let me know if you actually pick it up or if you have it digitally already. Monster Hunter Stories 2 is yet another big time RPG heading to the Switch as a Nintendo Switch console exclusive for the time being. It's also heading to PC. A sequel to a supposedly underrated 3DS game. This looks really good, high quality title. And for me personally, far more interesting than the standard Monster Hunter games. I'm all about turn-based RPGs and when it's got monster raising inside of it, sign me up if I ever had time to play it. I don't know how people find the time to play all these RPGs on the Switch. And this is Jonathan Rumor and Jcross7776's Pick of the Week. And also just a quick update on the sisters party of the year. I'm sure all you US people are dying to hear about its status. Well, it's out in North America this week. Sleep soundly at night, guys. All right, let's jump into the low prints. Now, as predicted last week, I had to miss an announcement. I missed the last day of June from Super Res, their latest release. Not to worry though, it's kind of a boring release. Sorry, what? Yeah, sorry, I know a lot of people love these narrative adventures designed to pull the heartstrings. Sadly, I'm uncouth and I need more robots blowing stuff up. But 5,000 units were made of this hot puller and I'm sure it'll be a sweet addition to anyone's collection. Hopefully it's not sold out before you see this episode. At the time of writing, there was 40% left. So uh, yeah, don't miss out guys. And this is Boombox's pick of the week. Republic also got a pre-order open via limited run games with the standard edition and a limited collector's edition. This is a fairly cool looking adventure stealth game that was originally an episodic game on mobiles. I don't think it's actually released on the Switch yet so maybe you'll be waiting a while for this one. It looks decent though, especially for a mobile game. The collector's edition includes a Blu-ray documentary, a book and three postcards. This was very limited in quantity so it may have sold out by the time you see this. Sorry, sometimes that's how limited run rolls. They often pull a Craig David on me. This is Cartoon Soren's pick of the week. 
All right, let's jump into the imports. Remember, if anything takes your fancy and you'd like to import it for yourself, then consider using the links below in the description and the pinned comment. If you use those links, then it also massively helps support this series ever so much. And we thank you ever so much for your wonderful, amazing support. Plus, in return for using our links, you can also get a very nice 5% off any physical item from Play Asia if you use the coupon code SWITCHWATCHTV while checking out. That's all one word, SWITCHWATCHTV while checking out for 5% off any physical item and even better guys for July all of July play Asia have a free shipping on any order no minimum order required so now is the best time to get your orders in even pre-orders check out last week's episode for all the upcoming imports and the mega list I created a few months back with all the best imports available and the 20 most popular imports of all time something will definitely take your fancy and if you've already got something pre-ordered then i advise you to contact customer support and ask them to instate free shipping on your order and they're very very nice about it i'm sure they will do this week however this week's imports uh we have a, a, quite a big one i'm very excited about it aria chronicle is releasing in japan this week this is a dungeon crawling jrpg some random elements thrown in with a nice art style think darkest dungeon with an anime jrpg twist and apparently you're not far off i was really really hoping to do a review for this but i guess uh circumstances can't be helped we'll see if uh, juan or james can give it a review for you uh this japanese release does have english and there is no western physical release announced as far as i'm aware i think it has a chance in some way but nothing's been announced so I i'm hoping for good things about this one it could be a nice low-key import gem and this is robotech's pick of the week Furaki 4 is an amazing looking bike riding adventure game mixing real world visuals with anime characters. Sadly, there's no English. I love that Japan gets these like weird games, but I just wish the West did. But, you know, I understand why they don't, but I really want this game in English, but it's never ever going to happen. Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 1, uh, I think is releasing in Japan this week. This is what I have been waiting for. Well, I would if it had English, but it don't. And I'm not sure it ever will because uh, NIS America have the series rights in the West, but XC translated this one previously. Hopefully people can work together to make it happen because that will make thousands and thousands of people very happy indeed, including me. Layton's Mystery Journey, Catriel and the Millionaire's Conspiracy Deluxe Edition includes 40 brand new puzzles, but sadly there is no English. But the base game did release in the West and they're still available for a cheap price in some places. E-Baseball Professional Yaku Spirits 2021 Grand Slam is a cool looking Japanese baseball sim. Sadly, there's no English and it looks super complicated too. So I think even the most determined of Western baseball fan may struggle importing this one. And that's it for this week's releases. But before I go back up the mountain, uh, I did pre-record an unboxing of sorts for Neocab from One Print Games. This is a story-driven game, an interactive taxi driving game, as you are the last human taxi driver in a world now run by automation. In this futuristic city, you pick up a large cast of characters and get to know them trying to get the best rating possible to make sure you sleep safely at night. You're also on the lookout for your missing companion and finding out the mystery of her disappearance. This is an interesting and unique game and is the latest in One Print Games' lineup with Eternal Radiance and Paradise Killer to follow up soon. If you buy this from OneprintGames.com then you get a nice little booklet with it which is uh, it's decent quality. I just wish it either fit inside the box or you, you know the whole package came in a sleeve to help keep everything together but that's a minor point. You also get a nice little keyring and an authenticity card to go with it. You can also just buy the game separately from Play Asia, but it's about the same price. And you can also save on shipping and a little extra if you buy the triple pack from OnePrintGames.com. Good stuff. Now, as you expected, guys, there's no community spotlight this week. And I don't know about next week either because I don't know what the plan is. I just do what my wife tells me. So uh, hold on. Don't send anything just yet. I will give you the signal. I promise you. I know a lot of people have sent photos already and I'll try to remember them, but uh, I probably won't. So uh, just, just hang on a little bit, yeah? Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of New Physicals. I am really sorry about the situation here, but uh, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Special thanks to our executive producers, Dane Wilkinson, God of Resin, Boombox, Brent McLean, Jonathan Rumor, Santa Tartaruga, Ololo and Jojo, Alexander Cato, J Cross 7776, Elisa, Punky Dooster, Michael Del Polito, Cigar Trucker, Cartoon Soren, Jack Severus, Vilos, and our brand new executive, Robotech, sponsored by a classic anime. That's badass. 
Thank you for your amazing support. Plus you, yes you, if you watched all the way through, then you are a legend. If you are one that did watch all the way through, then leave a little mountain emoji in the comments so I know who you are and I'll give you a little mountain back because you, you are the people who help this series grow. The longer you watch, the more YouTube shows us to other people, helps us grow. So thank you ever so much. Here are some of our other stuff uh, for you to watch. Watch this one, this one, this one, and this one. I'll see you guys over there. Have a good one.